Hello there people, Retro Stylus Ascender here, and today I've got the first roguelite in this series that can actually be played with a controller. So, this is Risk of Rain, a 2D roguelite watchamajigger. Mouse move. See, it's this sort of detail. Where you've got, um, hockey attacks for that, that, a roly-poly, and a murder everything. Now, on record, I, I'm i not sure how much time I have into this, actually, because I forgot to check that. But I have, I'd say between about 8 and, between about 8 and 16 hours into this. Possibly more, I'm sorry, I've just, I have an amount of hours in it, I will put a thingy to make sure I'm not being stupid. But I have a lot, but... Basically, I took the time to unlock every character in this, and one of which includes winning the game five times. Which is a pain in the arse. And yes, this is one of them their roguelites with a win state. And that win state is when you get to the final level and beat the boss, who is a maniac. And I probably won't get there because it's really tricky. However, I'm going to do one run with the starting character, the commando, who we shall call Jeff because I command you to. And if, and because I've got a little count there, I can actually tell how long I've been do recording. So, after that time, I will do a run with, um, another one of the characters. Sorry, um, uh, apologies for my rambling this this is recorded a bit later than usual so yeah but still ah yes I see this thing is a teleporter if I smack the teleporter I have 90 seconds and you think oh well that's not too bad you know but then you see a big bar at the top and then you think holy shit what the fuck and then everything fucks up. Ah, uh, fuck. This is one of the easier bosses because it can't hurt you if it's right next to you, and it has nice little targets, so you always know if it's about to smack you in the face or not. And roll. All right, so. This may not actually be set from when I last normally played it, so there might be a couple of things that are a bit off. Because there are artifacts in this game that you can find during your runs that will let you add a starting effect to the gameplay. One of which, which I really do like, is one that basically gets rid of the random element in the items. Yes, Tachi, but... I don't care. And it does make for more interesting winning runs. Or just winning runs in general. But remember how I said this boss was easy? I wasn't kidding, this is an easy boss. Notice how I'm nearly dead from it? Yeah. It Alright, so now we see the items. This yeah, that's right. So do I want? Well, I want that. Uh, uh, see? Good way to get through this. If you get the one to let you choose, the best way to run it I found is up attack speed and then up and then get things like um, fire and the rusty blade and the thallium lock if you get a rare one. And those all increase the chance of giving your opponent status effects that damage them. And due to the fire rate, it is really good because it's really good against bosses because it means you you're almost guaranteed to prop one thing, which means you will take down their health a lot faster. All right. Oh. 
Alright, so now that the time's up, I've just got to kill everything. And now I'll just. Ooh. I would like. Um. Hmm. I'm not sure. Sorry. Uh. I'll have. The ukulele. And his music was electric. That basically just gives your music electric powers. Not your music, your attacks. It gives your attacks electric powers. To which I can only to which I can only add taste my lightning, motherfucker. Basically that what which well you'll see. It's fun. Well I'll show you. I'm going on this way because I want to get more um loot stuff. Run faster. Yeah. This game does have an interesting thing with the time. There is a reason why it's there. You know it's the little bar at the that's just under the time. Yeah that fills up over time, and that dedi and that dictates how difficult like things will be, like enemy strength and stuff like that. So the longer you take on these first levels, gathering items and stuff, the harder it'll be further on. But then you think, and the obvious question would be, well, why are you taking so long? Why don't you make it easier for yourself and go further? Well, that's very simple because if I don't have the items I need, no matter what, when it gets to that difficult level, I will not be ready for it. Whereas if I'm if I've got that one other item now, it means that I can means that I'll be ready for it now. So basically, it means. Basically, I'm, long story short, I will be better because I will have more items, which will mean that I will be able to fight harder foes, in spite of the fact that, yeah, um, what item do I want? God, it's been so long I've forgotten what the item is. Okay, I'm going to get this. Why? Because, not that button, not that button, that button! All the fucking missiles! And there goes my Skype, because I'm an idiot and I forgot to turn that on D&D. Sorry. But still, rogue lights that will be... Oh, well, you know what rogue lights are coming up, it's in the first episode. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and I'm back, sorry about that. I've turned my Skype on didn't now, so yay. And now we just teleport to the past. I mean ooh, let's sacrifice a little health. Alright, yeah, that was a bad move. See now I wait. Okay, so it's, well, I'm not in combat. Boing. See, the thing is that that one thing. Oh shit! Nope. Missiles. Yep, that's what the missile mark two does. It lets me fire motherfucking missiles, and then I just fire more motherfucking missiles. In short. In short, I heard you like missiles. So I've got them. However, I did make the fuck up of taking that damaging shrine. Oh, well, I shouldn't have. I really shouldn't have. So I need to go and find the teleportal illusion.
If I remember right, which I, God knows, don't. Oh, damn, that was awesome. Oops, there we go. And now... Oh, shit, Magma Worm. At least I've got some items, so... Roll. Ah, shit. Run away. Oh, good. Notice all the missileiness. Also, that wolf hat. That means that crutch has this. Give me a speed boost. Which really helps because. I'm actually thinking about it. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. This character is really good for all these proc chance things. For the simple reason that. Well, he's especially good for missiles. Because. What you can do is you can fire through a lot of enemies at once. Ah, uh, in fact. Yeah, I don't like the magma worm. He's scary. Ooh, that hurt though. Yeah, when the 90 seconds points happen, then enemies will stop spawning. And you know what that means. Well, if you don't, that's fair enough. Also, you notice the damaging friend disappeared. Which is kind of cool. Something important, but it's just kind of cool. Ah, uh, shit. Nope, this one is gonna fail. Ooh. Actually, yeah, I might be able to try this. Be dead. Yeah, I reckon I've got a time. F Ooh, wrecked. I reckon I've got enough time for a different character. So allow me to introduce you to the character that took me the most time to win. Not the sniper. Sorry, the mercenary. Who has quite a few um movement abilities. And as you can see, he has a light sword. He is quite awesome, though he's not the best character for winning. Mm, I, I will say I don't like melee characters. They never really manage to win. Mind you, that might just be me being shit with them. Because I won't know that this guy has a lot of dips potential. So with this, um, I'm gonna take that. Yeah, I'm still, I still go with the um, procs one. It's the best that I found. <laughs> right, so let's go fight this guy. <laughs> Boom. Mind right, there are, there are, I think there are either 9 or 11 number. One of those two things. There are either 11 or 9 um, characters. Sorry, I'm getting my words mixed up. Yeah. Hmm. Come on, give me something good. That was not something good. However, Okay. 
There is an item that, like a usable item that lets you go invincible for a set amount of time, which is really helpful when you're going for the build up. Oh, that's just fun. This firework thing here, I, prob I might get if I have enough money. But the cool thing about that is when it makes it so that when you open a chest, fireworks come out and act like missiles coming on to your enemy. Also, drones are a thing. And no portals that way, which means... I need to go up. It's probably at the top right of the map. If I were to guess. And now, go get the firework thing. And then run the fuck away. Because I don't want to wait. I, I don't like wasting too much time. And. Although, I could do with that. Chance to bleed. Because afterwards I can just start stacking up all the attack boosts. Now we're having his fourth attack, the teleporty one. Is does enough attacks to be able to proc most things. Ah, this boss again. Now just saying that the bosses are randomized, so it's not like this boss is always first and then the magnum is always second. Also it is entirely possible to get multiple of the same boss, I believe. America House. And I died. Well fuck. Tell you what. I will show one more character and then I will end it. I'm gonna show you Chef. And then a sport is actually one that lets you upgrade and then whoosh. I think Chef's the character I've mo beaten the game most times with. Simply because of the intense DPS that you can get from knives that are boomerangs and they pierce enemies. So all I do is... Ah, you see, there is one of the artifacts that you can get with certain items or movement abilities. Ah, and here's... And what I can get then is I can get one of those. And boom! Got it. She's got it. Baby, she's got it. Ah. Ooh, hello. Shall we find the boss? Yes, we shall. There it is. Right, so, tough guy. Who's it gonna be? Magma Worm, see, there he is. See that DPS? See that just intense damage? So good. It's already dead. 
You can lay in any motherfucker. Look, it took me like 20 seconds to take, like 25 seconds to take out that fucking boss. And... So yeah, now all I really need to do is just wander about and find some cool shit. So climb up here, there's one. But this actually I'm kind of tempted to take that. Just because, why the fuck not? All the missiles. Get every single missile. Gonna go Michael Bay all up in this shit. Ooh. Ah. Now you see, that is a problem. If you get caught in a nasty situation, like that, you actually can't really attack. However, I don't think that's a bad I I don't think I, I am so bad. Because... Well, it'll slow enemies down. Nothing wrong with that, I mean... Due to the fact that quite a few of these are melee, Focused enemies. More damage, I guess. Just I didn't really want that. I don't know what I did want, but not that. Uh. Hmm. And we'll get the rusty knife. Good start, I reckon. Charge! To the next level, motherfuckers! Another, sorry, I just remember another thing. These levels have, these backdrops have like, you'd expect one level like that had this background to be the same as every other level that had that background. But it's not always the case. Sometimes same background but slightly different, only slightly different though. Like maybe one doesn't have a secret and one does. It's the only real difference though. Like, this, on another version of this map, there is a secret to the far left where I started, which gives you one of the, um, what is it, Our, the artifacts. Ah, uh -huh. this is not going to be fun. Fuck off, people. problem with that one. The further you get into it, the more difficult it is to actually be able to pick something up. Let's go for just for that. Ah, took a bit of damage, but 
Boss, come hither. I require to murder you. That boss is, can get quite lethal due to the fact that when it dies, it spawns more, well, it spawns smaller wisps. Those fiery things that you saw, the small yellow fiery things, yeah, it spawns like, a couple of those and one of the bigger, big, bigger green ones. Or one or two of the bigger green ones. Which, if you get caught off guard, like say, you just beat this boss on like 10 XP, yeah, that'll kill you. Guaranteed. Guaranteed to beat. Right, as soon as the um, 90 seconds mark comes about, I will go for that. And Actually, I'll go for it now. Told you. Punching gloves, that'll do it. Boxing gloves. Can't go not back, which. Again, melee focused enemies for now. So that could actually be good. Ah good the timer's up. And I have a fuck ton of money, so Ooh, brutality. Fatality, brace. Uh, I could go to the next level, but I... Ah, fuck it. I want to keep this episode about 30, 40 minutes, so let's keep... Let's do it. Sunken tomb. See how I lost all that fucking money? Yeah, don't... Don't skimp out... Don't, like... Jump to the next level just because you want to keep it easier. That's stupid. You need to... Take that time and meticulously go through the level. With a fine toothed comb. Oh, yeah, secret, by the way. One of the artifacts is right there. Of course, it means I've got to go back. However, now that I know it's down there, I'll take the over route. Notice the immense amount of miss. I now I just want a missile Mark Three, not Mark Three, Mark Two. That was Mark Three. That'd be fucking awesome. Maybe that's useful. Ah, crabs. Yes, apparently he can use his oven-based flamethrower underwater. Don't judge. Just because he doesn't follow the world laws of physics. Ah yes. Hello Colossus. See? Enemies are getting trickier. However, this guy is easy. I'm slow moving, so I should just manage it. However, it's not gonna... Oh, well, it didn't actually hurt me there. Die, motherfucker! Apologies for overusing the word motherfucker. I don't know, I just feel like that... I just feel like... I don't know. I feel like that is the word of the day. Wait, stop. There's the word of the day. That is... Now I can murder all those fuckers up there. They go down there, they die. But if I go down there, they just spawn back up there. 
with kill all remaining enemies yes ma'am or sir or whatever the gender of the person who's telling me to do these things it no oh yeah backstory very late backstory but backstory I don't think it's worth going, about going over the story at this point since I've taken so long. But basic deal is you you're trapped on this weird planet, you must escape. I know, such a good story. Um not bad. Probably gone for another wolfy thing, but hell. Oh, that would be funny. Darn it. Now, oh. time to go kill more enemies, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, many times. Other than people who actually want to succeed and win. I'm fine with not winning this one. Oh, joy. That shows just the power of being able to, of the chef, the chef of excellence. The fact that he can just slaughter massive hordes like that and eat them for breakfast. The um, downfall to actually falling is instead of dying, you get the time loss. Which I guess is a pain. But hell, you know, it's not that bad if you don't mind losing some time. And they're being a bit difficult here. Thank the word. If that might have been a bit harder, still. Question: the hundred, the hundred and twenty pence question is: Would I recommend this game? Yes, I frankly would. This game has quite a good bit to it. Quite a bit of variety with your weaponry, since you get your hockey abilities instead of just having to like. A gun. Hmm. So yeah, I would definitely say this game is worthy of recommending. I'm not sure how much it is. Actually, if the roguelite sale still on, which I don't think it is, god darn them, it will be on sale. But if it's not, it's probably going to be still be cheap. I assume. Price will be somewhere on the screen. Anyway, I'm going to call it there, guys. So, that was Rogue. Not Rogue. Sorry. That's next week. That was Risk of Rain. I should let this guy kill me. This guy take ages to kill me. So, that was Risk of Rain. This, if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see another roguelite, there are a, couple, a few more in my videos. And next week, I'll have Rogue Legacy. So, that's it guys. Bye.